Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and see how we can manage multiple versions of Node. So just like I said, you have some sort of packages which Node provides, right? And there's this one little handy package called N. That is just the letter N. What this would allow you to do is that it will allow you to just manage your Node installations without creating any sort of problem on your main system. So how do you install it? Well, just go ahead. If you're on Linux or Mac, this will work just fine. My Windows friends, I'm very sorry, but N is not supported on Windows. So what you have to do is you have to work with another package manager, which is known as NVM, right? And if you just go ahead and just Google NVM and not NVM versus N, you're going to see that this is, this stands for node version manager, right? Windows supports this, right? Uh, Linux and Mac OS also support this, but I would highly recommend not to go for NVM if you're on Linux or Mac OS because N is much more simpler to operate. It's much more easier and intuitive. So what do you have to do back to Linux and Mac OS? Just write sudo npm install g n, right? And do not worry if you do not understand this command at all will be breaking down all of that later on just go ahead and do that for me for now and of course sudo is not found for me because i'm already root npm install gn and what i want to do and not because i was root just to clarify here because i'm running this inside a docker container and just and that does not have a sudo binary so anyway that is a docker container running linux ubuntu just for the record uh I'm slow. Yeah, so it's Ubuntu. And for Mac OS, you can do a similar thing, sudo npm install gn, right? So what it would do is that once you run both of these commands, that is either of these commands on Linux or on Mac OS, what it's going to do is it's going to make a command known as n, just n available on your systems, right? I'm gonna show you how that works on Mac because I would be able to use sudo at the appropriate places then so what you have to do first of all is write sudo n and then latest so what this would do is that it will grab the latest version of node which is there which is available and it will install it on your system parallelly to the already installed node version so let's just go ahead and hit enter it will ask you for your password just go ahead and enter that and you see that it's installing node 14.4 for me, right? I think I have 14.3 on my system, but 14.4 was released. So that's the latest one. And uh, once it does, it has just installed it. But if you see right now, it has not, it actually changed my node version as well. I, I did not expect it to. And yeah, I can just say that it changes your node version. It will just update your node version to the latest one as well. All right, so that's fine. And you're gonna see that your NPM is updated as well. So if you were running an older NPM, you see that it installed node 14.4 with NPM. So it's not just uh, node is updated, NPM also gets updated. So how do you go back to your previous version? Well, it's simple, just write sudo n, hit enter, and you're gonna see a list of all of your node versions which are installed. For me, I have 10.17, 13.5, 14, 14, 14, 14, 14.3, 14.4, right? And you can basically see that you can also use D for delete, Q for quit, and just go ahead. And if you want to switch to node 13.5, just go ahead to that and hit enter. It'll, it'll take some time to copy the files at appropriate places and set the path. But in a couple of seconds or so, it will say you that, yep, it has updated and it has restored the NPM as well as node. So now if you go ahead and write node V and NPM V, you're gonna see that you have the correct versions. Super handy super useful i cannot tell you how many times i use this in a day because of if i'm working with some sort of legacy code base so again go ahead and if you do not want any versions you can delete them for example you can delete 10.17 or maybe i'll just get rid of 14.0 and 14.3 so there it is it's deleted it's gone you can again install a specific version if you want by going sudo n and the version for example 6.0 Right, so it's installing node 6.0 for me now, and it will appropriate in it will install an appropriate um, npm as well. So you see, six came with npm 3.8, so there's that. 
So if I go ahead and do that now, you're going to see I have the node 6 right now. And you can verify that by seeing that flat is not a function on an array, right? Which is, well, available after node 10 or 11, I guess. So the idea is that I'm just going to delete this because I don't need that. I'm going to keep on 13.5. The idea is that you can manage it exactly the same way on, uh, you know, on Linux as well. So just go ahead and latest, it's going to install. Okay, so it says me that it needs curl or wget as well because it's running inside a container. It, it does not has that. So you probably would have, you know, curl or wget. So I'm just going to install curl. And now n would be able to, you know, be able to operate properly. So if I do n latest, so we have that, right? It's installing node 14.4 now. And you can go ahead and do node v. Oops, you see that we have some path problem here. So just go ahead and copy this as well. So just go ahead and do run this command and you should be able to do that just fine. Right? Node v and npmv, that's fine. You can also restart your terminal or you can just do a source of bash rc as well if you want. So yeah. That's basically it for um, this video. That's how you manage versions with N, a very simple CLI tool written in JavaScript for Node. Amazing. That's all for this video. I'm going to see you pretty soon in the next one.